an absolute nightmare to uh, try to find that Q-tip. Um, we're not really there, but I have found it. But what I did is I just Googled the, uh, the ticker symbol. I, I put the ticker symbol into Google, and it brought me to another uh, Fidelity website um, that's more on our institutional side. Okay. And I have the Q-tip information there. And it's the same one I gave you. Like I get, like so you have it. But uh, if you wanted to try to find it um, on your own, yes, that information isn't looking like it's in the prospectus unless it's buried in the prospectus. Exactly. I really I've been going all through the prospectus, and that's eighty-two. Well, no, that's yeah. seventy-two pages, and so I've gone through every single page looking for it, and have not seen it. Right. Can I ask why um, you need it? Because they have changed things, and I did not receive my dividends or any of the interest that I was supposed to be receiving last year, which is why I told them what the delay is. So they haven't told me why. So I'm getting ready to contact the SEC to let them know about the trustee and the handling of my uh, part of the investment. I'm very disturbed oh, by gosh. this. And that's why I said it, something okay. is not right that all of a sudden the information is not available. Okay. Uh, yeah, and so, I mean, information is still there. It just takes a, a lot of digging. So maybe maybe they just were, it might still be in the prospectus, but I, I'd say you probably have to go in there and, like, control F around and figure out maybe it's buried in there somewhere. But on Google, if you just type in the symbol, you know, if you type me, in the symbol and then just one second. after. I'm going to do the symbol. Uh, when I click on it, the symbol, when it shows up on the page, it disappears after you click on it. So I'm going to type in FSPCX. Yeah, type that into Google and then type in QSIP after, and uh, it'll take you to uh, obviously Google search results, but the first website is um, something called Fidelity Funds Pricing and Performance. Yes, I see that here. Fidelity. And, yeah. So that is actually, this is, if you click on that page, this is the page that I found, um, the QSIP. I just did a control S. It's, it's kind of in the middle of this, uh, list. Yes, well, it actually shows right here on the front page. Without me having to go there, yeah. it's right here on the very first page. So that, that right. is, that's a whole lot easier. And I can trust it because I see that it is. Fidelity, so, because if it was anything else, it's Google. Sorry, there's a lot of misinformation and, on Google. Yeah, and um, the QSIP I gave you is from our internal system, so, and, and it matches. I made sure it matched. Yes, yes, so I was just checking the number that it matched, so I do see that it does match. And the fund number is the exact same, so the QSIP number matches. And so that, that was all I... Needed. I can even get the ticker information. Well, you said the actual symbol is the ticker symbol for the trade. Say that one more time. The actual symbol FSPCX is the ticker symbol. Yes. Okay, because when I put that in as a ticker symbol, it pulls up nothing on your website. I've done it several times this weekend, but those were my only two problems because it mentions it's the says fund symbol, so it didn't say ticker symbol. So I put it in thinking, okay, maybe it is the same thing, and it pulled up nothing. But now with the QSIT number, I can actually pull up everything with the QSIT number from now on and not have to worry about that. So that's that was what I needed, sir. And I thank you for taking the time. Awesome. Definitely an interesting question because I didn't. It, it was good learning for me because I didn't know. Um, sometimes it, I guess it's just really buried. I, it seems like something that would be readily available, like right in the beginning. So. It used to be. Uh, I used to that, be able to just go in and it was right there and it would be on a prospectus and I would have no problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I would check in the past, it was under uh, what is it, composition on your page? Yeah, uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'll make sure to make a note to our uh, back office and gather some more information um, because that's that's definitely something that seems like it should be right in the front on our website. Yeah, because it's it's been a couple of years since uh well since 2016, but 
when I last checked, I was able to click on composition. Everything was right there and it was all lined up, no problem. But you click on composition right now and nothing about any QCIT or anything pulls up. It's actually, it seems yeah. like it's been dumbed down, if that makes any sense. Because it used to yeah, be a so little bit more a lot precise. Of that, a lot of that is sort of our, our um, user experience. Like, we don't want to bombard the user with a ton of information. And to be fair, the QCIP isn't uh, the most popular bit of info about a fund that people yes, would need to have. Exactly. I for your situation, for this niche situation, it's definitely important but as just a normal customer is browsing funds that qsip is kind of just a confusing number for no reason so that could be one of the reasons like just as, as far as uh user experience goes maybe our designers were like we're just not going to add it but who knows um did i answer all your questions today? yes you did and i appreciate that very much and now awesome. well you have a great afternoon Thank okay you, you have a good day as well sir goodbye okay And that's how you get the QCIT number. These individuals are charging people $250, $1,000 to get their QCIT information when the information is right there on Google. They made a business out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate that. I hate that with a passion that they have taken something so fundamentally sound and have decided to... Well, one guy charges 150. That's okay. I, I agree with that. That's fine because they put everything together for you. They organize it. They give you the most pertinent information. They do the work. So that's fine. However, because most of you won't know what to do with the information. But I said on a video that I would provide help for anyone who had this information. However, I decided to do it myself and many of you are going to have to do the same thing but many of you won't know how to handle the conversation that conversation let's see how long did that take that was a 37 minute conversation well give it the whole time it was about a 20 minute conversation because 17 minutes of the call was hold being on hold um, I did another short video before this the only problem is I hit the wrong button trying to bring you guys back online um, while I had him on hold and muted. That's why he asked, was I still there at the beginning of the call? And you guys probably didn't hear that because it was just starting up again. So again, this is what I need to show all of you. This is, where's, let me see if I still know I don't have the prospectus up. So we're going to open up the prospectus. Now I showed you yesterday and we're going to show you again today because might as well put this up because I did the video I'm rich brother <laughs> sorry I, I find it that hilarious because many people are going to get the wrong inference with that and it's okay because I can't control your mind as Dana Dane would say what a dirty mind you have I can't control your mind I can't control how you think what you think about just because you infer something and something I may have said or should have said or probably said is not my problem. Am I to be concerned about that? Of course I am. But am I trying to mislead or trying to direct somebody in a particular? Oh, shut up with the stupidity is what I say. Now, this is this particular fund. Now, do you see that right there? That's what I want to show you. This is the original Social Security number. Okay, original social security number, and I'm going to show you my birth date in a moment. The exact birth date for this fund. Now, let's pay attention to something. Do you see this? 2008. Now, remember, this is July. August is when I, well, no, August, I mean, July and August is when I got diagnosed. Beginning of August, end of July is when the first diagnosis was. Okay, this is when I got social security. So now I got total security. This is when I was handling my own case, did it myself. And then this is all of the headaches. This is 2011. This is when I paid off that mortgage. 
No, this ain't when I paid off the mortgage. I'm sorry, this is when I cleared all those people's credit. I paid off the mortgage right about, no, right about here. See that hike right there? That's when I paid off the mortgage doing all those money orders. Yep, had a good time. This one I went on vacation, uh, the real vacation. And this is when I went right here. This is when I went on the other vacation. This right here. See how those spikes? Because they trading things on the market. This is when they said, get out of here. Okay. And then this is when they say, aha, we got you again. And this is when they say, get out of here. And this is when I say, I'm going to see y'all. Okay. Other people are going to say, how do you know this? 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 Again, I'm going to title this, how to locate a QCIT number. Okay. Real simple, because the information is not secretive. I'm going to title this video, How to Find a QCIT Number, because I know even after I do this video, some of you are going to try to make money off of others. Okay? Now, here's the thing. What I can't tell you, and I cannot, because you've seen I put in the symbol for the birth certificate, but I do believe, and let's go to DuckDuckGo.com, DuckDuckDuckDuckDuckDuckGo. This is my fund, okay? This is for me, okay? But we're going to go here because this has the same fund. And I want to see, this is a different site for Fidelity. As you heard me say to him, I can now trust this because it is Fidelity, okay? And look at that. Wait a minute, don't select everything. I want select portfolio, select insurance. Oh, it's in alphabetical order. You couldn't see that. Select insurance portfolio. This is mine, okay? This is me. This is the symbol. This is the QCIT number. This is the fund number. That simple. Okay, now let me put you guys on a quick pause so I can do the other one. Hold on. Real quick again, as I told you guys, I was going to show you this is mine, 12-16-1985. I was born in the USA, um, 1967. And so this is the 18th birthday because 1987 would have been the 20th birth date. So there you go. And I didn't say birthday because I don't do birthdays. I do birth date. So this is the birth date, not the birth year, but the birth date. All right. So that you get it. That's one of the reasons I know it's associated with me. But that 2008 spike going downward, psh, man, that I didn't even recognize that at first. But now I get to show it to you on the other social maturity number. Hold on. Now, when you put in the social, you have to put a space in between the numbers where the dashes go. You cannot put dashes. It will not work. You have to put a space. So you hit the space bar. Now, this is... Give me one second. Because this information is important. I cannot tell you why it's important. I can only tell you that it is important. Now, see, here's the thing. This is only finding your QCIT numbers. We are going to be getting QCIT numbers. Now, you see how this is July 29, 1985? Because this is when the other number was gotten. This is a different number, but it was gotten in July. I don't remember the year. I think it was on the 20th birthday or something like that. Uh, 20th birth year is when I got that. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, when I was 20 because I went ahead and got another one, just went and applied, just decided to do it when I was 20. And so I got another social security number, did not hide anything, just went in there and filled out the application and got it. You can't do that now, but I did it back then. Okay, so this is the other number. Let's go to the prospectors. 
So we're going to open it up. Because remember, the other one, 2008, 2009, roughly July, August, and we're going to go down, 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 down. Let's see. We'll do the annual report because it's going to be right there in front of us on the annual report. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Ladies and gentlemen, we knew that the QCIT number had been moved. It's been moved to another part of the site. And as you heard me say, it seems like they've dumbed down this site. And he says, yeah, because it was not information that people were normally interested in. Well, okay, fine. People were normally not interested in it, but there's a reason why y'all did that. Okay, you see, right there, 2008, 2009, same time period, different social, different social, different social, same exact time period. So now wait, hold on, because I ain't showing y'all everything. So let's show y'all everything so y'all can see. Now we talked about 2011, see the little dip right there? And then me doing the hour style money orders, paying off the mortgage, and we vacation, we vacation and then real vacation, and then coming back, and blah, blah, blah. You see the same movement, okay? That's how I know it's mine. The exact same information. It's just because I haven't used the other social for 30 years, okay? That's why it's only 1 billion. This one, 7 billion, okay? And I'm not working, people. And I'm at seven billion. Just imagine where you gonna be at. So, oh, Fidelity website gonna be getting hit like a bizang. Okay, now we need this. Is F? Uh, you know what? I should have put the symbols next to it. So, let's see. F S C S X. Need the trading symbol. That's important. That's important. Okay. So then we go here. Let's see. Oh, no. Give me back here. We don't have to do the search for it that way. This is Fidelity Select Software and IT Services Portfolio. So Fidelity Select Software. So we got to go all the way down to the S's. But before we do that, I need to get the symbol for this. So symbol F as in Frank, C as in Charlie. Not that one. I need this one. This is mine. F S. And then we got P C X. All right. Now, we're about to have some fun. Uh, by the way, I am. Yeah, this is not the one. Give me a second. Uh, maybe it is. I ain't too far gone. Hold on. Select software and IT services. So select. Now we got to go all the way down to the SMSs. Oh, that's right. I got to touch the screen. Software and IT services. Do you see that QCIT number there, ladies and gentlemen? That's the QCIT number for this particular social. Okay. So Fidelity Select software and IT services portfolio. And we got the QCIT number 316390202. Okay, real simple. And do you see this didn't cost me $300? It cost me at the most this morning probably about an hour of my time. And that's what the doing the video, well, it wouldn't have even been doing an hour. So I would say probably about 50 minutes and if I wasn't on hold and if I wasn't taking the time to write this stuff down and show you what I'm doing it would have been right about 35 minutes okay because it would have been that simple now what I would have had to have done and this is what he said you need to do when you go to fidelity you do the ticker symbol you put in the social it's going to give you this number, but when you click on this, the number will disappear, so you, 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 you can't do that. You're going to have to write down the symbol, then you're going to go to Google, and you're going to type in this symbol in Google, and then after it, you're going to put the thing QCIP, C-U-S-I-P. 
you're going to click enter. You're looking for the ones that will do this. As a matter of fact, let's do that. So let's show you. Duck, duck, go. I went to Google, but you see how I put in this one? So let's put in, hey, went back too far. Okay, let's put in FSCSX. No, that's an S. And the number should end in 202. So let's see if we got our 202. I don't see the 202 up here, which is not a problem. Okay, because this is a different QCIT number because this is the fund. This is the fund, fund 0028. That's the correct fund, but something is not right. See, this QCIT number and this QCIT number are correct and the fund number is correct. So we got to go here to make sure. And we're looking for FSCSX. Fidelity Select Software IT and Portfolio. So Fidelity Select and you know what? That is definitely not the same one. Maybe I was looking at the wrong, I doubt it. Okay, so this is the right QCIT number, that's the right fund. So I don't know how I got the other number. So we got 316-390-822, so I read it wrong. I was looking at some other number and mixing up the two, so we got 822. Glad I did this because I would have been going off for the other number. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a printout. See, pay attention. This is the portfolio that I need. This is the one that got all the big bucks. It said, please wait. I don't want to wait. I ain't got time for no waiting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the page you need. Okay, my other one is trading at 60 some dollars. Okay, this one is trading at 178. Why is it trading so high? Because, okay, and it says inception date, 1981. Do you see this right here? Please understand, <laughs> they had no other choice because that's when the Social Security series was given out for that Social Security number. Okay, and so that's why it's 729, 1985, because that's when I got it was in the month of July, 1985, and it wasn't on the 29th, it must have been on the 14th, and the trading of it probably didn't start until the 29th. You got to wait for that little grace period, you know? Okay, so this is the information that y'all going to need. Now, again... Like I said, there are a lot of people who don't like the fact that I do stuff like this, but hold on. Let me let all of you know. Go back and look at my previous videos. I'm the one who put information out there about the QCID number in the first place. And because I've been out of pocket, I haven't looked this stuff up. So there was no way for me to keep up with it. So what am I doing now? Well, what I'm doing now is I'm letting all of you know that it's public information. It's right there on the internet. They're not hiding this from you. Fidelity just took it and put it someplace else. So what you're going to do, and watch this. This is not the one. You see, this is, this is, it, it's my portfolio. Okay. But this is, this information right here, select technology, this may be the wrong one. Sorry. So it may not be mine. This may be your mama's. Okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. It may be your mama's. See, it's this one that I clicked on. I should be clicking on this one. See, I made a mistake again. How come y'all didn't tell me? See, that's what that's why I can't stand. Y'all sit up here and see me making a mistake and y'all don't say nothing. It's a good thing that I catch my mistakes. I thought you don't make mistakes. You better believe I don't. 
Uh-oh, we got a big difference. See this one? Oh, that's right. Remember I told you? Aha! Remember I told you ever since I did that paperwork? So this is 729.85. So this is the right one and fund num ID is 28. Take a look. This right here, $18. The reason why that's happening is because of the paperwork that I put together. Now, pay attention. This is where it was. Okay? This is where it was, people. It went from this to this. Can you give me a reason why it would drop so drastically? Almost to zero? Because I'm all about gaining control of the securities held in my minor account. This is the correct one. So what we're going to do, do you see what I'm doing right here? Just pay attention. Pay attention. I already got the fund document. I don't need the fund document. So top holdings. Give me copy. And let's see. Get rid of that. Do you see these? Microsoft, Facebook, Alphabet, Alphabet, Adobe, Visa. Salesforce.com Incorporated. I don't know who Salesforce is, guys. And Akamonamo. I yell technology. I don't know who they are, but I know who Master is. I know who PayPal is. They love me. Okay? Now, what you're going to do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, our, this is the newsletter information. The newsletter for SACOM will be up. Many of you who have signed up for the newsletter will be given notice to the newsletter. You cannot get to the newsletter from the website. Okay? There will eventually be a link to the website, but the newsletter will be given to the people who are registered okay now the reason why I'm pulling up this information do you see what I do here and eventually I will get rid of the stuff that uh, is not necessary see how that's that information there that's the information I'm looking for and I'll get rid of the information, but what I'll do is I'll copy it. Let's do this. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we're going to do that that way, but watch this. I'm going to print. And the reason why I'm going to print is because I need this information. It's uh, important. Impotent. Your mama impotent. You better leave me alone. All right. I'm sorry, I was listening to someone give a talk and they were talking about how individuals when you're, you know, in school and six sheets of paper, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to print, let's see, we got page one and that's what I was waiting for. Well, we don't need the last page. The last page is nothing. So we're going to do page one through five, and I just need to make sure the information regarding the QCIT is here. So we got performance, we got holdings, and QCIT. Okay, you can only, technically, all you have to do is page one, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm going to do page one through five. But all you have to do, you know what? No, forget that. I'm going to do page one. I don't need the other pages. They can get that information so I'm printing page one. All right. Got it. There you go. The same with you. Um, if you need to. OK, this is my account. This is my QCIT. And ladies and gentlemen, you have no clue of how I'm getting ready to devastate this fund. I don't care. I'm getting ready to devastate this fund. Can't tell you how. I just don't appreciate some of the things they've been doing. 
Okay, now we got that one. Now we got to go back up to the other one. Select an FSP. Did I go all the way up to the top? Let's, my screen is not allowing me, so I had to do that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Come on now. FSPCX. It's the screen is still got that little arrow thing going. I mean, that little spinning top thing going. Select insurance portfolio. That's almost it. Hmm. You know what? The name is different. It is supposed to be select insurance portfolio. But could it be select technology insurance portfolio? There it is. Select in Fidelity Select Insurance Portfolio. This is the one. Uh, 541. This is the one. Now we do that. And let's get rid of you. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Now, again, we're going to make sure that this is the correct one. 12, 16, 19, 85. It's the 18th birthday. Then this one's trading at 67.56. I guess they don't think that, though, huh? Shut up. Okay, and. We're going to do page one, and we're going to do print. I'm sending it to the printer. The printer's way over in three other rooms away, so I'm sending it to my printer. But, oh, and I'm sorry, let me go ahead and say this because this is important. I wanted to see the, the spread, okay? So this is the lowest that it's traded in the last 52 weeks. However, you're going to see it's going to drop a whole lot lower. Now, why is it dropping now? Because this is when I started all of the process and paperwork. So that takes care of that. It's sent to the printer. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you take care of your QCIT information. Now, what to do with it, I'm not going to tell you. Because many of you want to know that information. You're going to have to do some research. I can't put you on point with me okay i can't bring you to my level it would take too long see if you do what i do and you don't know what you're doing and many of you don't know what you're doing you're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble okay somebody decided to piss me off somebody decided to make a threat to me and so i'm only going to do what i know how to do i'm about to threaten back but i'm gonna do it in my unique way so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, I'm going to ask that y'all have a good day, a coke and a smile, and I'll see y'all when I see you. Wouldn't want to be you. Got to go.